important time to get an agreement in writing is when you are in a band. And the time to do this is when you form the band, not when the band's breaking up and everybody's mad at each other. It's in the beginning when everybody's friends. And I know that that may seem like a really awkward conversation to have because everything's going good. You don't want to potentially rock the boat with talks about copyright ownership or band name ownership. But at the time when everybody's friends is the time to do it because people are going to be more cooperative and more agreeable to work out a solution that benefits everybody. And if they're not, then maybe you want to think about whether you actually want to be in a band with this person. So while the main fun of being in a band is creating music, what a lot of musicians actually forget is that a band is actually a business. And each band works a little bit differently. Some bands share everything equally. And in other bands, only certain members get credit or ownership or royalties and other members are treated like employees. So here's another real story about why having a band agreement so one day I get a call from a musician and he was in a band, but the band was breaking up. And so he wanted to know, does he own what he's contributed to the songs? Does he own any portion of the recordings? Can he continue performing using the band name? All of these kinds of questions. And I said, well, did you talk about these issues with your band ahead of time? Do you have a band agreement? And the answer was no, they had not talked about any of these issues. And now the relationships between them were so contentious that there was no way that they would be able to come to an agreement on anything. This guy had been in the band for several years, but it was unclear as to what ownership or what income share, if any, he walked away from the band with. And it's possible that he could have lost rights or lost royalties to all the hard work that he had put in during this time period and it would have been a wasted effort over several years and with nothing to show for it. Now again, had the band created this agreement in the beginning and talked about these issues, then it would not have prevented the band from breaking up, but the members would have known what the parameters were in the event of a breakup. They would have known who owned the rights to the songs, to the masters, to the band name, how people could proceed if the band broke up or if they left the band, things like that. Really important things that a lot of people don't think of because they think, oh, we're just buds and we're bros and we're gonna hang out and make some music and do this. But these are real issues involving copyright and income shares and potential actions for someone's future career and they do need to be addressed. And then how do you get these things in writing? The best option is to hire an experienced music attorney like myself to draft these agreements specifically to the situation that you're in. The next best option is to use a service like Indie Artist Resource at IndieArtistResource.com. Download the templates offered through Indie Artist Resource. There's contract templates that are offered, they're high quality drafted by myself, an experienced music attorney, and they come with instructions so you know how to fill out the agreement and take care of those issues yourself. The very last resort is to potentially write something out or do something over email to just get whatever verbal agreements are in place in a written form. They don't stand up like a contract will, but at least it's better than nothing. So if you need a songwriter split agreement, producer agreement, a band agreement, or any other agreement drafted, reviewed, or negotiated, or you need counsel on these issues, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can do so through my website at themusicindustrylawyer.com, and I'd be happy to assist you. Don't forget to sign up on my mailing list while you're there to get insights and articles that I only share in email. See you next time.